And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, okay, we are here. You are there. And you are there. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's um, a television program. You are there. Yeah, that, that, that's way before my time. Uh -huh. Welcome. Of course you know because you saw the intro to the show, Progressive Discussions. What they do? I'm James P. Madonna. And um, of Mega Life 21, and my uh, my co-host is sitting right here in the background. Even though people have been bitching, why doesn't he face the camera? Well, it's not your damn business. You hear what he has to say, don't you? That's all you need to know. No, they don't. That's the problem. Uh. They don't. They they nitpick. They nitpick and. Um, about things that are not important and they don't focus on the message the message which happens to be what comes out of the man's mouth yeah. anyway the reverend dr william j eisman founder and managing editor of newsletter censored in 1977 how are you feeling this week sir uh me... cold and i have my scarf on i notice wrapped around my neck not hanging like yours we we, well, this is for making a fashion statement. This is, I'm making a cold statement. This is for decorative purposes. Oh. I I have my I have my my regular scarf in my winter coat. <laughs> Being that this looks so much like a, a Scottish tartan, you know, and it's it's, Oi, me laddie. it's most my most colorful scarf. I decided to reserve it for the show. Scarfs uh, have very classy uh, appearance to them, you know. Shows dignity and class, like a walking stick. It's my uh, Blackthorn Shillelagh. I call it the conservative cracker. Ew. Not not a cracker as in a southern plantation owner. I, I say there, son, I say that. But, you know, cracker as in cracking conservatives on the old noggin, you know. But anyway, welcome to Progressive Discussions. Yeah, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. It is happens to be single digits today, the, the coldest day of the week, and uh, below with the wind chill factor, which happens to be very high wind chill today, below zero. But the wind is strong. It's howling. It's so strong that when I went to the local ATM machine, uh, the people were not using the outdoor ATM. They were there was a long line inside. Well, what do you expect? And it looked like motor vehicles. It looked like the DMV, <laughs> you know. But um, I got my antioxidant, antioxidant-rich hot tea, and it couldn't come at a better time. Uh, yeah, I finished mine already. <laughs> now, everything we discuss politically on this show is part of our series, Capitalism in a Conch Shell. And there's the conch, and... Uh, Soak in that conch energy. Um, I want to start off by saying, um, you know, this generation, I guess you would call them the millennials. Millennials. Yes. The millennials. They are, I mean, there are good things about high technology, but there's some negative aspects. I, I've been seeing young people cross busy streets uh, walking, oblivious to their environment around them, mm -hmm. walking with their face literally in their smartphone, mm -hmm. checking out whatever they're checking out or texting. They just cross the street, 
and um, that's it. And their faces, they're hypnotized by their smartphones. Nobody talks to anybody anymore. If you're in a waiting room of a doctor, if you're anywhere, nobody chats. Everybody is hypnotized by their smartphones, texting away. Uh, I personally, I'm old school. I refuse to text. Uh, I want, if you want to communicate with me, you call me. You know, if you want to email me, that's different. But I got big fingers and, you know, it's not easy for me to text. And I refuse to. But uh, this is the society now, you know, it's become a very uh, impersonal, antisocial um, type of society. And, and that's unfortunate, you know. So, uh, hey, I heard uh, China is working on a teleportation device. I wonder where they got that technology from. Yeah, like on Star Trek, yeah, I, I wouldn't trust my molecules uh, flying around the world by a, a Chinese uh, machine. Neither would Dr. McCoy. I don't he didn't think like his uh, molecules thrown around, you know, in the uh, <laughs> the. Uh, the could could you called? imagine, uh, you know, if the, with the quality control they have in China, could you imagine your molecules getting all jumbled up? And, 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 and your head is where your ass should be. Hey, then you'll be a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> levity bells, levity bells. Let me break them in. Now, that wasn't planned. That, that, we don't script anything. All right. Um, I want to say a quick hello and a combination happy uh, birthday and happy Valentine's Day. To my dear, dear friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. Greetings, Miho. And um, I want to say hi to uh, my good friend, uh, Pete Clausen of, of Bugs in Cyberspace. Uh -huh. Which you can check him out online. And, uh, like and to all of my Facebook group administrators, all of his collectively. Now, the debate. The most recent... Um, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a uh, Democratic debate between the uh, the Gorgon witch Hillary Clinton, mm. the the person, the the uh, the puppet of the top one percent, the oligarchs of uh, puppet, female puppet, uh, the uh, well, some call her a moderate Democrat, but the hypocritical you know, progressive. She's a hypocritical progressive puppet you misusing the word progressive she's she's not a progressive she's a corporatist and so is billary her husband yeah. who lashed out against bernie sanders yeah. now my problem is bernie sanders has ha, is still treating hillary like you know too gentle he's being a perfect gentleman he's trying his best to combat her recent attacks, but she's hitting below the belt very hard, and uh, she is seems like Hillary's breaking away from a Sanders uh, um, uh, a plan to keep it an issue-oriented debate. She's starting to hit him below the belt, and uh, after Bernie Sanders said, um, "Madam Secretary." That was a low blow. Yeah. That was it. He didn't really retaliate against Hillary's unfair attacks and lying. And uh, either, either look, if Bernie doesn't bring out the big guns next time, well, yeah, he he doesn't stand a chance. He doesn't have to. She's destroying her own campaign with those low blows. That see, that's the ultra liberal attitude. No, it's a it's a it's a personality of passivity, being passive, not going on the attack, not taking action. You know what I mean? If you don't have to, why would you? You 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 guys, even Bernie too, you guys are so worried about offending someone, getting people to like you and accept you that you won't go on the attack. You just won't do it, you people. Why would you? Let's take because she's doing it. Let, so what? What? Let's look at this from a military point of view. Why, as a general, 
would you go with your men and attack somebody who's destroying himself? Well, uh, uh, it, it, why it would you do that? It sure fools me because all the uh, progressive publications online are making statements like. Do you think Hillary stands a chance of making a comeback against Bernie Sanders' uh, surge? It's almost like they're pro-Hillary. Well, what do you think that is? That is that Hillary uh, favorable? No. And big that's against Hillary. And big media is on Hillary's side. You know. And, well, Mary, and, why did you expect anything else? She's so, a corporate. But how is Bernie going to compensate for all this advantage that Hillary has on her side? There you you have to compensate by exposing Hillary Clinton, exposing her dirt. She's exposing herself. Yeah, but are yeah, but people. How do you think the DNC? But how do you get is going to do these dirty tricks and everything to help her out? Why do you think they need to do that? Because Bernie's doing a damn good job, the, and she's doing a damn Amer good job the American, of destroying but, her but, campaign. But the American people today are imbeciles. You have to tell them outright how crooked this woman is. They've been doing that. And the, th the thousands or millions of people who are rallying around Sanders are just are saying that. And every time Hillary makes a statement, she has a huge, vast mob of high-pitched screamers right. cheering her. Yeah. I did not hear, but that's fake. In, a, in the last debate, I did not hear a, a deafening equal loud cheer for Bernie Sanders in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I didn't hear it. I did. Now it was low on the decibel. Hillary Round had this. One. Hillary Bernie had this. Has everything H in his Hillary favor. had all those feminists screaming at the top ah, of their lungs. Ah, feminists. Yes, feminists. Feminists are not interested in policies. They're interested in getting a woman in the White House. And so is, Thank you. and I have a feeling so is the DNC with that Deborah Wasserman shits. That her, I call her the uh, the crony queen of Hillary Clinton, the 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 personal attack dog. Well, she is the one who will be leading the dirty trick. They, the, the, against Bernie. Because I saw the uh, article and it said uh, the DNC has declared war on Bernie Sanders' revolution. Yeah. And it had a picture of this uh, this kosher uh, uh, feminist Jew uh, uh, douchebag, Deborah Washam, Was Wasserman Schitz. Because they are all corporatists. They all take the money from Wall Street and etc. And Bernie has them on the hot plate. Right. It is. That's what their problem well, is. Well, Bernie's right about. He has a feeling that the kitchen sink is going to be thrown That's at him. That's correct. It's going to be thrown at him soon because Hillary has started it, and now Wasserman is is on on the attack. Uh, will be on the attack. Now the problem is that Bernie is is a fairly clean dude in terms of scandals and. Uh, 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 Steve the cat, stay away from the cameraman. That's it. Now, anyway, with that twitching tail, um, thought we were over this. This fucking cat, man, should 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 be picked up by a fucking Chinese takeout. Stop sabotaging the show. It's our mascot. It's a black and white a Sylvester looking cat who is uh, who um, just has to be the center. See, this is the thing that pisses me off about cats. You don't have to really, you don't have to walk them or anything, but they got to be the center of attention. You know, not what I mean? all of them. I got one that's sleeping right now, not bothering anybody. So the drama queen happens to be a male. Yeah, Steve. Anyway, just just don't pay attention to it. Well, you did just you, you, because you're you're looking you, at him like, oh, what's the well, matter? What? What's the, the matter, Steve? See, the camera sees me. No, looking but you, at him? you, no, you, you guys coddle the these goddamn cats, like like the children. American. What if the cat has to go out and piss? What do you mean coddling? Well, then I'll open the door. Well, he was there already. No, but he. I guess he didn't have to go that badly. I don't know. Goddamn no pain in the ass, fucking cat.
He ain't there now. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, he is. What the fuck? You're a cocksucker. You're a male, so I can call you that. You cocksucker. <laughs> what a cocksucker. Anyway, here we have, while I'm standing, our evangelical serpent, as in taking up serpents. The right wing serpent is hanging over all glory, America, America. Getting back to Deborah Washer, Washer, Wasserman Schitz, the queen of Hillary cronies and probably the queen of the, uh, the feminist movement that just wants to make history. She's the head of the DNC. She looks like, she looks lesbian to me. Well, is that a bad thing? When, when all you care about is putting a woman in a White House and nothing that's else, feminist. yes. That's feminist. That's not lesbian. That's feminist. Feminist. Yeah. Feminist. And, 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 and then you get Madeleine Albright telling uh, women, particularly also feminists, uh, uh, feminists and regular uh, homemakers or whoever they happen to be, that uh, if, if you vote, for Bernie Sanders, you're going uh, into the fires of hell. No. She said, there is a special place in hell for women who don't stick with well, women. Well, I, I, that was her quote. Yeah. Right. Well, what I said is synonymous. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. They're going well, to that hell. Would, that would put men in hell, too. No, I, what did I say before I said that? I says women. Feminists and homemakers and, and the like, women that but, vote for Bernie Sanders and don't vote for Hillary, are going to go to hell. It's synonymous with what she, her quote is. All right, but there's two problems with that for people who are intelligent and know things. This guy's got to be right and he's got to be at the all, top of the mountain. First of all, my partner here, Madeleine Albright. There is no such thing in the Bible as the traditional concept of hell. Well, now, Wrong on that point. Well, now you're getting, you're Madeline reading, Albright. now you're reading into it literally, literally. That's correct. But the, she, man, the woman is making literal statements. Listen. And Madeleine Albright, back in the 90s, as Secretary of State under Bill Clinton, when the United States had sanctions against Saddam Hussein, 400,000 Iraqi kids died. Yes, yes. And they asked her about that. And they said, do you think that's right? And she said yes. So she had no... That's Madeline Albright. She had no compassion and empathy for... So for why would anybody believe or uh, 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 take any attention to anything Madeline listen, Albright said? Listen. Well, Hillary sure had a big smile on her face. Well, that's them. Standing next to Madeleine Albright. But I'm talking about somebody who knows something. It's same thing with Henry Kissinger. Henry Kissinger is a warmonger and a war criminal. And he's in league with the Rothschilds. Who cares about the Rothschilds? They're worth $500 trillion. Nobody's worth five hundred trillion. You don't believe it. You don't. Ain't that much money in the world? Well, I know you're not a conspiracy theorist. That's for sure. I am. So all I gotta say is prove all things. No religion has been proven. So politics and religion should never be mixed. But they are. But that. So how do you fight them? But it. But it's religion is based on faith, which is hope. Exactly. How is, how is, is that front, how is that evidence it to is the front to, man of the Republican Party to run a country based on that? So how do you fight that? Revolution, civil war. See, we did that once already. It didn't work. No, because the uh, the Dixiecrats became the today's Republicans. Whatever. And all, and there are people who are still fighting the Civil War down south, and it didn't change their minds. People with half a brain not tied behind their back understand that violence gets you nowhere. The um, um, the people in Kentucky, who, okay, they don't have a pot to piss in, basically. They vote for people that are only for the rich, and they reelect. They reelected Mitch McConnell. They voted him in the first time they reelected him. And then you have people in New Jersey who complained up and down about Chris Christie, 
they elected him and they re-elected him, mm -hmm. which makes New Jersey people my, from my state assholes. Because why would you complain about somebody and re-elect them? Re -elect them? Okay, uh, Wisconsin, this traditional blue state, they elected and re-elected Scott Walker. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like the Twilight Zone episode. It's like, what the fuck? It doesn't make sense. Why would a woman, let's say she is a publicly active, proactive feminist. Why would a woman, aside from the fact that Hillary's a woman, why would she vote for a corporatist if corporatists don't Part really care about uh, the poor, women's rights, minorities, civil rights? They don't care about. They don't care about the little guy at all. But for, they're not looking at what Hillary really is. They're looking at the fact that she is a female by birth, and they just want the first yeah. woman in, in the, White House, the White House. Period. Thank you. And that's it. It's a very selfish agenda. They're not looking at the good of the country. Bernie's got to stop bringing out the big guns. They're not looking at the good of the person either. Right, exactly. Because she's not a good person. Well, I posted that uh, whole article on the uh, anonymous group page. I, I think it would be beautiful. It would be great if the anonymous guys dug up all the dirt with their hacking talents, dug up all the dirt on Hillary to help Bernie out. I think that would be peachy key. However. Seven bells for the anonymous people. However. And a salute. However. Would it change the minds of the supporters? Well, looking at the Trump supporters, right, he can be no, she still gets the loud cheers at the Thank debates. Thank you. But exposure on a deeper level, you see, Bernie's saying this, look, I, I, I like Bernie for now. He's saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Because it ain't changing. He, she's hitting him in the balls. Hillary's starting to hit him below the belt. Boom, 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 boom. And, and getting nasty, getting unfair. Okay. All right, now, he's not retaliating. He, he's being passive on Hillary's attacks, unfair attacks. Now he can do one of two things. He could hope that the American people will see through all of Hillary's bullshit and bills and uh, let Hillary sink herself. Or Bernie could do both. Could let Hillary sink herself and expose Hillary and embarrass her in front of the nation. I, I'd say do both. Well, I said before that Hillary is doing a good job okay. of her doing it herself. But I have a question. But when you vote, when you're going for uh, to do the president's job, you are going there to do policy that people want you to do, that the country needs. And it's not a job yeah. of trying to insult the person who's running against if it's, you. If it's proven true, it's not an insult. Was I, it a low blow, a, the low blow against Sanders an insult? Or was it true? Well, if it was true, Hillary you has... You just a, made a statement. Now prove the statement. Hillary has a right to say it. If, San, if Sanders did something that... No, 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 I just said it was wrong that she said. It's not, it's not wrong to, to expose somebody that did wrong. But he didn't do the wrong. It was a lie then. So, it was an insult. Well, lying is, is, is not a fair open exchange but she did it. debate. She did. Lying is... Now you want Sanders to do it. If it's true, I don't want him to lie well, when he attacks Hillary. If he's just insulting her or this, that, and the other thing, see what I mean? A lie. Oh, you insult somebody. You're gonna going to offend them. That's not politically correct. Here we go again. I, I know where on, this is going. It's not on policy. 
It doesn't help breaking so, up the, uh, the banks. So, the so, so he's got to be impotent and not ever attack Hillary in the debate. He has to be impotent and not go there. James. Listen. He's running for president. <laughs> if, it, if, Admit it was, it. if it was some other person there besides Hillary, it's the same policies that he wants to institute. It's the same revolution that he wants to get going. To get all those people out there to vote so there will be no obstruction from Republicans or Democrats. Well, corporate. hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll put in enough Democratic seats. You never well, know. That's what it's all about. And then there won't be too it's not much. Not about insulting Hillary, but she's she. But I can't I can't see let, letting her get away with lying about Bernie and hitting him below the belt with no retaliation. I just can't see it because that's the way you look at. Because I got fucking testosterone no, on my gonads. That's you why. Look at things with a violent attitude. No, it's not violence. If you're it you're is. you are, if somebody's giving you lies and hitting you hard. You hit him back. See what I said? What do you think they teach you in martial arts? They teach you to to take the energy of the other guy and use it against him. You know him. what? That's what, what you're Jiu -jitsu. saying. What you're saying. Thank you, Steve. You just wrecked it. You just wrecked my. Oh, job. now you wrecked it more. You just, no, it was sticking out <laughs> because I had to let that cocksucker in back in. Fucked me up over here, brother. You fucked up my my background. Well, we have to get ultra ultra liberalism, passive Pollyanna like Gary. No, Yo, don't offend anybody. Oh, you gotta walk on eggshells. Walk we out. Don't call. Don't call Oprah Winfrey a corporate whore. We have to get away from the idea. He says you gotta raise the bar. James. That a presidential campaign is a war. It is not a war. Well, it ends up being that. But war causes destruction, collateral damage. It is not constructive. Well, then, then England would still. Bernie own. is trying to construct a new system. Ultra liberalism will lose against the corp corporate oligarch. That's my prediction. Well, that's nothing new. If the DNC... That's nothing new. If the DNC... Oh, They're already planning that. If the DNC just hands over the nomination to Hillary and Bernie doesn't run as an independent, I'm going to vote for Jesse Ventura, a uh, progressive libertarian. That's what I'm going to do. Jesse is not on the ballot. Jesse's talking you about... You can write him in Jesse's, if you want think, to. Jesse's thinking about running. I know running. that, but he ain't going to do it. You don't think he's going to do late. it? It's too late. No, it's not. Bloomberg. Uh, who, who else? Jesse, you Jesse, you, the libertarian too following. Late. The libertarian following is quite large. and the it Libertarians will have never won anything. And, and besides, the Coke. Hey, the, buddy boy. Hey, the one Coke I can brother. care less about the Democratic Party. I'm not voting for Hillary, and that's it. Who cares? You vote for Hillary, then. Who, who cares you, who you vote you, for? You vote for the political correctness of putting a woman in a White House. I, you do what you want. Do I'm what you want. I'm voting for Bernie. Why would you bring up I'm voting for Hillary? What is wrong with you? If Hillary wins the nomination, if Hillary, if Hillary scamming works. I will write me in. Like I do every fucking year. I'm not saying if Bernie, if Bernie's not on the, the ballot. The if Bernie is, if Bernie is on the ballot. Hook or by crook, I will vote for Bernie Sanders. If Bernie Sanders is screwed over, then write him in. If he decides, uh, you know, to support the Democratic Party, then he's a corporatist too. You can write him in. That's have that freedom. I will not support in any sh way, shape, or form that witch. Well, that fine. That corporate witch. I will not. Fine, then don't do it. But why the hell are you saying that other people are going to do it who have no inkling to do it? Because, because I've been. I've, and libertarians I've been, are just a stone's throw away from Republicans. Well, Jesse said he's a liberal libertarian. Well, what the hell does that mean? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I've been, I've been looking at the other web pages, the other web pages that are pro-liberal, pro-democrat, whatever you want to call them. And they seem to be back in Hillary because they want to make history with this first woman in the White House.
Exactly. Now let me ask you a question. Exactly. Let's take New Hampshire for example. Bernie Sanders was obviously very successful in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Okay. When Bernie Sanders won the caucus primary in New Hampshire, he received the There are no caucuses in New Hampshire. It was All primary. Right. Primary. Caucus and a primary are two different things. What is caucus then? Caucus is a bunch of people coming together, debating amongst each other, okay. and then deciding on whom to vote for. Okay. When Bernie Mary is an election. Okay. Bernie won the um, New Hampshire primary. Yes. He received a certain number of uh, of delegates when he won. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between? Uh, super delegates that are be, that are just being handed to Hillary Clinton and a regular run-of-the-mill delegate. Super delegates are Bill Clinton. They are the big wigs of the party. So top top one percent of the party. That's correct. So they are the uh, they are the very. They will override the little boy and girl. Boys. So you're told what you're talking about is. Uh, Pretty much two party system cheating. No Underhandedness. Kidding. I said dirty tricks. Yeah. Well Democratic Party is yeah. is this, is ending up being the 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 uh, flip side, the opposite side of the same coin. So the, these groups out there that are so pro, they say I'm true blue Democrat. Yeah. You know, I'm so sick of these people bragging that they're true blue.